Hey, y'all don't mind if I just destroy a few more NASA deceptions and lies real quick, do you? So, in this particular video, NASA is going to show us a camera inside a water bubble in supposed space. First thing I want to point out is, remember, this is nothing they cannot do in a vomit comet. Space, or even their microgravity, um, low Earth orbit space, is not necessary to perform these parlor tricks. Okay? So it has nothing to do with space. It has to do with falling and surface tension. And controlled atmosphere. Contained atmosphere. We constantly hear from globe propagandists. When we say show us water curving. They will use examples like this. Look. The water's curving. Into a ball. What does the view look like from inside a water bubble? Astronauts on the International Space Station studying how water behaves. What's the space, problem with this picture and this video camera inside a ball, ball of, water. of water? Where is the lead ball inside attracting that water into a ball shape? Oh yeah, it's not there. Because it's surface tension. This woman is about to tell you that herself. So this is not proof of gravity. This is proof gravity is not required for a ball, for water to turn into a ball. This is why they also use the idiotic raindrop excuse constantly. This blob of water here is no different. It's all due to surface tension. I will leave this link once again for the reality denying globagandists who deny that due to surface tension can overpower your imaginary gravity again. And I imagine it's because this one is coated, but a steel paper clip can float on water because of surface tension. It also goes down into why raindrops are formed and why bugs can sit on the water. So it is yet another weak, very weak, because I just tried to put a non-coated paper clip in a measuring cup and it wouldn't float. So either they're using salt water or it's got something to do with the surface tension and the coating on this paper clip. Unless they're making pink steel now. So, this has does the exact opposite of proving gravity. It proves there is no object required for water to form into a ball. And what he's about to do now proves that objects do not attract water. Don't be confused when she says they're in microgravity. Well, that's Earth's microgravity. But according to these globe priests, these rabid religious cult members, they constantly tell us how the water is attracted and pulled to the Earth. Notice they have trouble getting this camera to stick in the water. It's not because of Earth's gravity. Remember, this surface tension and this giant falling raindrop, remember the story of microgravity in the space station is because they're falling so fast, it appears there's no gravity. But they're still under micro effects of Earth's gravity. So you're telling me this camera that's right next to this water in Earth's microgravity still can't perform enough gravity of its own to have this water just attract to it and go into the shape of a camera on the exterior of it? Let's see what happens. Oh, it flew right through it. The water doesn't just immediately attract to it. Look at that. And when it does, it's because of surface tension. 
not gravity. Notice, the water doesn't form the shape of a camera. But you're telling us the water of Earth forms the shape of a ball because that's what Earth is. It's foolishly like this that you try to present as science that totally contradicts your narrative that makes people know it's all illusion and lies.